Hey guys, it's been a really long time again, but here I am, ready to make another video. And so, uh, I'm gonna do just that for you today. Um, so it's been a while, obviously, and um, I'm doing my best to make videos over the summer, but taking uh, two summer courses and working, things like that, life's kind of been getting in the way a lot lately. Um, also, they're doing construction pretty much right outside of my building. Uh, it's a really rainy day today, so luckily there's only one person outside right now and they're power washing, so I hope you can't hear it. Um, if you can, hopefully you can forgive me. Um, but yeah, all, all of June and July they've been um, doing construction outside, on the parking garage, on, on the streets, um, on our roof. So it's been, it's been very loud here lately. Um, I'm moving in two weeks, or I'm moving out in two weeks, and then I'm moving into my new place in three and a half weeks. Um, so hopefully the new place will be quieter. Uh, it's off of the street a little bit more. It's on the third floor. Um, there's no construction outside. So hopefully, hopefully, um, after I move I can make more videos and hopefully the lighting situation is a bit better as well. Anyway, um, there's one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, I want to give a shout out to my friend that started making his own ASMR videos. I'm going to put a link to his first video in, um, in the little subscribe box below and I might do a pop-up as well, we'll see. Um, but it's a bank teller roleplay, and it's actually really good, um, despite not having any fancy equipment or anything like that. I um, think you guys should check it out. And if you like it, hopefully you'll subscribe to his channel as well. I know he's working on more than one video right now, so hopefully you like what you see. You like the promise of, of his channel, and um, yeah. Okay, so today, what I was planning on doing was um, something from one of my classes. So I'm taking a Visual Basic Coding course um, this summer. It's just like a uh, eight week, um, like twice the content and uh, half the time kind of course. And so um, we have a unit this week and it is about um, just making your own project using everything that you've learned so far and so one of the requirements is that you do um, like a UI sketch before you start working on the project and then you have to turn that in as well so I thought walking you through the steps of designing a, a visual basic project might be conducive to ASMR. There's a little bit of sketching involved, a little bit of thinking involved um, Anything that has steps in it, I think, is, is pretty good for ASMR, so hopefully you like it too. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the project. So, um, the requirements just say that you need to have six different types of object on the user interface, and then you have to use different methods of, um, of code writing just, just to achieve the result. So what I'm thinking of doing is a tour company. Um, and basically what the application would do is you would go to a tour company location, you would select your city, you'd select what kind of bicycle tour you wanted to go on, you would uh, enter information about yourself, you would enter information about your group, um, whether or not you have your own bikes, whether or not you have insurance, things like that. Anything that you could think of when you're going to one of these places and um, registering for a tour, basically. So that's um, what I'm working on designing right now. So, like I said, the first step is just to sketch a user interface. So I've got pad of paper, old school pencil, and I'm gonna start drawing something. So, I usually prefer to sketch my user interfaces on, um, and graph paper just because everything is rectangle or square shaped so it makes makes sketching really easy but I didn't want to go get my my, uh, my square paper pad so I'm just gonna do it on here okay 
starting with a rectangle. Um, I think this one will only need um, the little X button up top. And so what it'll be, um, I'm going to start obviously with, oops, silly me, the form title. And then um, I think front and center will just be like the tour company name. And of course, when I'm actually implementing this project, I'm going to do a better job of centering things. <laughs> Never looks like the paper sketch, thank God. Okay, so I think there should be two little group boxes that let you input your information. One section, I think, should just be for the person that's registering. So I want to put that one on the left, and we're going to call it personal info. And in here, I think I'm just going to ask for their first name, their last name, their date of birth, because you don't want a bunch of like 16 year olds signing up for a bicycle tour without an adult around. I feel like that would be a recipe for disaster. And then I think um, maybe the last little thing in here could be a checkbox that says um, whether or not they have insurance. So we've got three labels. All right, let's see here. We've got three labels, we've got three text boxes, and we've got checkbox with the accompanying little text that goes with it, all inside of one little, one little group box. I think that's probably the best way to start it out. And then, um, of course, I'm going to write down my little tab keys as well. So there's um, tab 0 through 3 in this first box, and then we're going to tab over to the, the box to the, to the right of it. And I think this one should be called um, maybe group info. In here, uh, I think what I'm going to want people to do is sort of put in information about the group. So it's not always just one person signing up for a tour. I mean, of course, that's acceptable as well, but usually it's a group of people, uh, like a group of people that have traveled together to a new city and they want to check it out, whatever. So there will be a label for group number of people and a text box for input. Um, I think there should be... Um, what else do I need for that? Maybe we could do some radio buttons, and the buttons will say um, we have our own bikes and or we need to rent bikes. So we'll do two radio buttons, rent bikes, and own bikes. Is there anything else? I can think of that needs to be part of the group information. We have insurance. We have the amount of people in the group. We have um, the bike rental. You know, I think, I think, okay, so the rates of this tour company will be by, I think just by person. I don't think we should, charge based on how old the person is. If that was the case, we could put another group box where everyone just inputs all of their ages and we calculate the price based on age. I don't really think we need to do that for this project. Um, considering we already have used one, two, three, four, five, we've used five different kinds of, um, of object already and we need to use six. Um, so I think, I think we pretty much have it all set here. Okay, so the next thing is that this kind of application is going to be used um, at every location of Scott's Tour Company. So I think 
starting out this company, there should be at least at least four locations. And let's let's say like one from every corner of the country. So we've got like one in New York City, we've got one in Seattle, one in Los Angeles, and one in Miami, I guess. Miami's probably um, oh maybe maybe we should do um New Orleans because there's a lot to see in in New Orleans. All right, so let's do another group box, but this one will be the length of the entire form and a little bit wider, and we'll call it um, City Info. Okay. And so I think what we should do is have them do the radio buttons again. And since they're all grouped into this one thing, um, they can only choose one tour. Because it doesn't make sense to be able to choose like a New York City tour while you're in New Orleans or whatever. Um, and definitely no one is going to be taking a New Orleans trip at noon and a New York trip at 6, so I don't think there's ever a need for that either. So I think what we should do is divide the group box into four, if I could do it. Got to do a little erasing here, sorry. Okay. So we're going to divide it into four vertically. I'm not actually going to do this when I'm designing the application, but I'm going to do it um, just when I'm sketching. So you can keep in mind that it's just four separate entities. So I think what we should do is do a picture, which takes care of our sixth object. And so we'll do four different pictures, each of them of the city that it represents, and we'll start in the upper left. So the first city will have a label that says Seattle, and then it'll say $35 per person. And then um, we'll do, we'll make it a radio button also, okay? And then there's a picture of Seattle with the Space Needle, and some mountains in the background, and a little bit of lake. So we've got Seattle, just looks like that. And then next we'll do Los Angeles. Again, I'm sorry if you can hear the pressure washing going on outside. I'm not really sure what the purpose of doing it in the rain is, but we're doing it, I guess. Okay. And I think every tour should cost slightly different. So Seattle will be $35 per person. In Los Angeles, uh, let's say because of California state tax, it costs a little bit more money. And we'll call it $42 per person. Put the radio button in there. Um, for Los Angeles, we'll do Hollywood sign with a little bit of a smaller looking downtown. And yeah, maybe some ocean in the corner. Okay, the next one I said we should do is New Orleans. And let's say that um, the NOLA trip is, is the cheapest because it, it covers the least surface area. The thinking behind this is that there are so many different things to see in New Orleans that you'll take a short trip and see a lot of things. Um, and so you wouldn't have to pay somebody to take you as far. Oh, it's kind of a strange premise, but whatever. So we'll make the New Orleans trip $28 a person. Okay, and then uh, another radio button in New Orleans. I think we'll just do a little bit of a... French Quarter style drawing with a street. While well, that is terrible, I am terrible at drawing New Orleans. <laughs> and the last one is New York City. Um, and we'll make this one, let's just make this one $38. It's kind of middle of the range pricing. A little more expensive than Seattle, a little less cheaper than LA, a little less expensive rather. Uh, the picture of New York City, you'll probably just find a Empire State Building picture and 
all of the stuff behind. I actually have pictures from all of these cities, so I should, I could use my own pictures, I guess, for this project. Okay, so I think there needs to be three buttons after this that say calculate, a clear button, and maybe an exit button. Um, so the calculate button, what it's going to do, it's going to store the first and last name. Check the date of birth to make sure that the person is older than 18. If not, it's going to pop up with an error. Um, store the result of the insurance checkbox. Store the amount of people in the group. Store the result of the radio buttons for rent bikes or own bikes. And then store which city info you which city you choose to take a tour from after that it's going to do the calculations um or give an error basically and then i think what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of like a label and an output label on the bottom that just says uh trip information and then it's going to list the cost and then Maybe just like have a nice trip on the bottom. I think we should also have a pop-up box that comes up once you press calculate. Um, and it's just a information box basically that says, um, so it's the same exact thing that it says at the bottom, but it's just like a temporary kind of pop-up just to, to catch your attention, I guess. And then we'll leave the information displayed at the bottom just in case somebody misses an some piece of information or doesn't write down everything. Um, and so it's just going to have an OK button. And it's just going to say trip info. OK. Well, I think, I think this is a pretty developed idea. It should be good enough to tick off all the boxes for this project and um, it should be pretty easy to code. I think we can do a couple different things. So obviously the price is going to change based on whether or not you have insurance. It'll be cheaper if you do and um, otherwise you have to like purchase insurance or yeah, there's an insurance surcharge or whatever to contribute to the company's insurance. And then based on whether or not you rent bikes or own bikes, if you rent bikes from the place, it costs $35 per person per tour. And if you own bikes, it's free. And then um, same with the group number. Obviously, the group number acts as a multiplier for the, for the per person rate that's listed under the city information. So there's going to be three different if structures. Actually, it'll be more complicated than that, but that's okay. Um, it's probably a little more complicated than the class is asking for, but it shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, so um, that's the project, and that's kind of what I've been doing all summer. Um, I'm not going to show you the coding part of this just because it's typing and pretty boring. Um, but I thought you guys might like to see a little bit of the work process um, behind my schooling. So anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it wasn't too noisy outside for you. Again, um, if, if you feel like it, you can check out my friend's ASMR channel, and um, the information is going to be down there. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Um, I'm going to try and do a bit of a better job on Facebook. If I haven't accepted your request lately, uh, it's just because I haven't checked at all. Um, I haven't even checked my personal Facebook even, so um, I'm not ignoring you, and uh, it's not that I don't want to be your friend or anything, it's just that I haven't had a chance. So I'm going to go work on this project and then make pizza, uh, make personal pizzas tonight. Um, I have the dough um, rising over there in the corner. So anyway, hopefully you enjoy this video, and hopefully you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you again.